Okay. Oh, for the sake of the video, let's play that thing again. I'm going to spin it one more time. So here we go. All right. Suspense. Suspense. There's a lot of suspense in it now because you you reversed the direction of this before we had uh, to that, and yep. now we've sort of gone from uh, the D. Now you're going from the D chord to the A chord, and or suppose before we were kind of like going from the A chord to the D chord. Um, some really 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 nice stuff. Uh, let's just okay so. Um, so I like what you're doing with the intro. Like we took this kind of thing of the, of the, let's clean up my mess, of the time. And, uh, or no, you went. Through those three chords over C, D, G, E minor. And then you started with the time of, And we get that three times, right? And then we keep going. That's right. And then. And then we come back and we do it again, right? Yeah. Okay. So I like the idea. So. The thing that's tricky about that moment right there is going from this clink cliffhanger to this is tricky in the sense of doing two hard things at once. Okay, so it's it's tricky to hear um, what you're doing is you've got an A chord up here and you're going to a C chord down here. And that's fairly simple to do if you do it. And you hear it that way, right? We hear that all the time in music, especially with like the A7. A little more light, maybe, 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 maybe. Um, we, you know, with the A7 all the time. But you're also but it's kind of a tricky maneuver because you're in the key of g e minor and 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 that's um yeah i don't know if, it, it, the way that you used it before was kind of like a 
a tonicization, meaning it was just kind of being a five chord to this one chord, a dominant to this tonic. But now because you land there and arrive on, it's sort of maybe a modulation and then you just jump right back. Now that we can, you know, we can, the listener can handle it because we've already been here before, but it is rather abrupt. And, um, and be, so it's got this um, big movement. It's got this big movement in terms of the um, in terms of the key and the tonality and the harmony of it. But and you also do a big leap with it at the same time. You're leaping almost all the way down the neck. So that's what I mean by doing two hard things at once, right? Okay. Is that there's a leap because leaps are harder than steps, and it's got a harmonic leap, right? If we looked at it on the lattice, which maybe we'll do. Oh yeah, we're gonna do that. So uh, let's just do that real quick. Hold on a second. And voila, here we are with our little lattice. So we're basically saying now this is a lattice that's set up for the key of G or C rather, because there's our little C set up like the sun. But we're really here in the key of G. And you're going like C, D, E minor, or like on the intro you go C, G, uh, C, D, G, E minor. Um, and then we go C, D, E minor. It's kind of a D chord when you pass through this. Anyway, C, D, uh, E minor, D, uh, sort of a D. It's a weird, it's more of G major seven. It's got three notes in it, F sharp, G, and A. It's one of these ambiguous collections of tones, actually. Um, and it's interesting, too, because it's... F sharp, G, and A, it's, so it's a cluster. It's th like if you put them all in the same octave, be right next to each other on the piano keyboard. But, um, and, and then through G, but we just pass through it and we get, and then you put, and you know, we talked about this last week, but you put the, um, you know, you put the, that A there on the G string into this chord now, as opposed to having that G, the G drone in it. And so it makes it a little bit more more D chordy, um, and then there. And so where we get what well, was it D, and then we went all the way up to this A, and then we've got a leap all the way back here. That's where we're going all the way back there from that G, and we're also leaping all the way down the neck. So that's what I mean when it's two big things at once, right? So. Right. I might suggest because the rest of the thing is, uh, you know, the rest of the piece is so smooth and so um, beautiful that that to me, that was the one part that was kind of jarring getting from here to there. And so, you know, you'll listen to that as you're working on this thing and think about, you know, whether you like that effect. It actually might be just slightly more less jarring check this out if i go from this so if i went i'll just play the last because you have that i, I played it with the open g string in it that time and yep. that way you have a little bit of a of a pivot some continuity maybe It's a lot easier to for the ear to track it because it's got it's like it's got a drone in there that helps right. you along. So if you leave that open G in this chord and that chord for me anyway, it makes it flow a little bit um, more, um, you know, smoothly. And then we do this whole thing again, and then we'll just so th that whole section repeats. I though you articulate the A chord a little different the, the second time, and. I might just suggest that it might be fun to um, to have one one of them have a different ending than the other, um, right. just to have a little bit of change because you've had same 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 and then maybe a little bit of change so you could end and that might actually afford you. It's two, two finish. Second time. Uh, 
And then where we're going next, is it, hold on a second. Ah, uh, yes, okay. That's where we go from there. So this was first just the first thought I had and maybe good may not so much. But so my thought that was that getting getting from here to here it's like a question and then the answer is kind of like uh oh hey what about this because this chord really really wants to go like that oh you could even do or man but all i did was go to this one because this kind of strengthens the resolution again we're not uh, just doing a little bit more talking about chord names than i was last time but a7 this funky collection of tones that has a little bit of d major energy and in into it so so let me play that in musical context and make it more sense about that is it just it circles around where you're going and gives me a little more push to where I end up where I just felt like whereas this wasn't hard uh, as a listener I was sort of like what okay we're there now I, I don't know it, it, I wanted sort of a stronger tighter resolution there but I think as you think about keeping that drone in the first ending that's going to shift the second ending, which is also going to shift the transition to this third part. And right. that's what I was saying last week. It's like when you change one thing, it changes the balance of everything. Right. So and it's always just about, you know, OK, oh, I've changed this now. So, oh, now that sounds different. And so this is where recording and, you know, going for walks and listening comes in really, really handy, because when you're doing it, it sounds different than when you're not doing it. You know, right. You, right, especially at the, the you know beginning stage of the game. So, um, and really at all stages, I, for, for me at least. So, uh, and then I was trying to. Okay, so I'm cheating a little bit, and maybe taking out the G drone. What's happening? I oh, am. Yeah. Maybe try this. Let's see if you like it. So when you get on your second end, I'm just making it a full on D chord. So I've resolved like A7 dominant to tonic to the D chord, but it's a little bit sideways resolution because i'm not voice leading it properly shall we say um and uh if i were it would sound something like this oh it's tough tough to do in this octave. oh you can do it oh. oh except both no i can do it in this octave can i want it oh well both that g and that a want to go to f sharp some funky tune but so yeah because that's an octave i'm going to do it this way so you can just actually hear this so i'm moving the g up an octave which you could even do and there you can hear how smooth that is everything every voice moves this one goes and this one goes and this one goes uh oh 
Oh, sorry, this one stays. But melodically, in terms of the piece, we might enjoy this slightly different movement. And also because we're 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 using that lower drone. And then I've sort of circled around where I'm going. So let me play all that in context because I've talked a lot and now we just we really need to hear the sounds. What about this? sets up keep cutting off the guitar sorry but and the th other thing that I like about it is it's sort of like a foreshadowing of this motion you do this so you hear this where we're gonna hear this Oh, sorry, you do. This motion is very similar to this motion, right? So it makes it, you know, just having that, you know, musical rhyme in there to my ear makes it stick together a little better. Cool. This is all lovely. I love the second part or this third, you know, the second section, third part where you're going. Then you, yeah, it's beautiful. You have this little suspension because we last week we had talked about going this, but you chose, oh, hey, what if I go? And then another surprise. And this. And I can't remember what how the thick, picking pattern went there, but, but then, but you kind of keep going. Yeah. This is something I, I would encourage you to play with is that right here, it's beautiful. This. Okay, so we've already got some. Let me do it from here because it, we've got to contextualize it. Let me show you a little closer. So keep the guitar in the frame cone. Try to keep the guitar in the frame. Okay. It's tough, you know, these days, got to be your own cameraman, everything. Okay. So a little surprise there. Oh, a little more surprise. Not totally out of blue, but then big surprise. We haven't been there in any kind of way. We've we've moved big time on the, in the harmony. And the but the interesting thing is when you do this, which comes next, it's just like uh it's a sequence or a transposition of where you started. Yep. And when you start you always do that three times, but here you do it once and you keep going. So I'm going to suggest because you've made a big change, maybe a little more repetition. Okay. So, for, you know, it, it's it, it's balance, right? So it's balancing changes and repetition, but changes and repetition. And none of this is right or wrong. It's just what this idiot thinks. So, you know, okay. So, but I like so when I heard this, I enjoyed it and I was, oh, I want, I want that again. So, um, and because it is an echo of the original, one of the first themes there. It would sound great. You could even do it three times, just like the first section. makes it fit you know it pulls it together a little bit yeah that's cool and then you might consider 
something new right there to bring you back to the A section or section. And I'm not going to talk right now. I'm not going to say do this or do that. I'm just going to say, okay, what if you get, what if you get, what if you get here and then somehow work your way down combination of steps and leaps, something, something so that you get back to, to the original place and then figure out how to end it, which is sometimes the most challenging. How do I resolve all this stuff? You know, because you probably want to bring back some part of the, you know, this bridge, like it would be cool to make this make a brief appearance if you can. Um, a little reminder of, hey, where we were. And um, <clears throat> so I love it. I, I love what's happening here. There's all there's all kinds of cool stuff happening here. I'm totally, totally digging it. So um, and this is just craft stuff we're talking about. I'm like, well, OK, so balance of repetition and change okay two hard things at once um and let's go take another quick look at the lattice actually again um is so here the nice thing is you start the piece and we go all the way up as far as this and then you come all the way down here i mean this piece ranges a lot it's lovely and so when you do the b flat then you do b flat c d just like so, leaping up like that. You know, some things start to beg the question is that, you know, there are places that you could fill in, you know. Yep. Um, so just a little quick thought about that. It's very lovely, um, very nice stuff going on in here. So I'm looking forward to see what happens uh, when you're, when we hear this again next week. Um, okay, any questions on that long diatribe? No, it's good. Okay. Uh, I like it. It's a really nice, it's a really nice piece. And oh, actually, I was gonna say one other thing that you might consider is maybe adding, um, thinking about dynamics, like playing as softly as you can in certain places and playing a little louder. Wow. That'll really, you know, that will really help shape the thing. Okay. Um, okay the, so, the, the yeah. writing, the yeah. musical notation is in the doc. Okay, I'm gonna grab that one second. So, um, Let's see here. If you go, I want to play that thing one more time for the, for the sake of the video, and then we'll look at it. Yep, one more time. It's Eleven seconds. Okay, so um, I'm going to pause this thing and find that. This is for our friends in YouTube land that can read music. So, okay, this is just getting started in the whole idea of actually writing and some of the advantages of um, of using written notation, we can use some of other, our other skills to, to shape things and look at what the shapes are and then train ourselves to how to listen to these things. So it sounds to me like it's an A. Okay, so you've got two phrases. They both end the same. Right with these last tunes, and uh, they actually the last six notes of the same. So there you've got some nice rhyming. Okay, you know I know this was a, a hurried assignment. My 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 two things to say immediately that'll get you some mileage with this is that it's very samey samey in terms of the rhythm. Right, it's just quarter 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 quarter. You need a second. I will right, we'll pause. About yeah. So you'll get a lot of mileage out of this if you vary it. And the one other thing, and actually it's very nice. Other than that, you got nice stuff going on because what you end up with here is you've got a sequence. 
right? And I think actually, if this is me and I'm being ruthless and I'm working on this, I would just ditch the first three bars and start here. Okay. Because this is a stronger idea than th this. You're like, I am going to draw some notes for Cone. <laughs> right? you right? you're just going up and down the scale and you're like oh god i've got to do the assignment right so and it's been a while since i wrote so <clears throat> but this is nice because it's a sequence and you might consider what you could do with the rhythm of one or both of those bars to create a little variation you could make one of them an eighth note and another one a dotted quarter or you could there's various things you could do you could make uh uh this what if this was quarter half note two eighths <laughs> okay any very any variation really have fun with that that, that was really fun. I'll let you go. I look forward to hearing m more of both of these things, or if you write something in, in terms of writing that's different, totally cool too. Um, but yeah, this is fun. Like we weren't really, I wasn't really expecting to go here, neither were you, but you are, and it sounds great. So cool. keep up the good work. It's fun. Sweet. Good uh, luck this afternoon. He's going to go because he's going to have a lesson. Yeah. All right. Take care. So, yeah.